If you get a filament jam, here's what to do. If you are trying to print and no filament is being extruded, there may be a blockage in the nozzle. If you think you may have a filament jam, you will first need a 3mm Allen key, tweezers and needle nose pliers or similar. First follow the change filament cartridge instructions via the LCD screen. When asked if filament is currently loaded, select no. This will try and extrude a small amount of filament through the nozzle. If you see a straight filament extrusion at this point, then you do not have a filament jam. If nothing extrudes, then follow this process. First, manually remove the plastic tube from above the extruder head by pressing the orange washer down. Turn and pull the plastic tube upwards to release. Insert the Allen key into the tension screw. Make a note of what position it's in. Let's call this position A and identify the position as though it was a clock face. For example, 12 as shown. Turn clockwise until the tension screw is tight. Do not apply unnecessary force. Make a note of the new clock face position of the Allen key. Let's call this position B, 9 as shown. This is very important. This enables you to retighten the screw to the correct tension after completing the exercise. Using the Allen key, then turn anti-clockwise until the tension screw can be removed. The tension screw, spring and washer should be removed together and kept safe. Lift the tension shoulder upwards, giving you sight of and access to the blockage. Using the tweezers or pliers if necessary, remove any blockage. Now feed the filament back through the orange washer and into the nozzle area and push the plastic tube back into the orange washer to secure it. You will know if it is secure as you cannot pull it off without pressing the orange plastic washer downwards first. Then lower the tension shoulder back into place. To re-secure it, put back the tension screw into the thread with the spring and washer on it. Then using the Allen key, tighten the screw to a tight position as you did before. Do not apply unnecessary force. When tight, reposition the Allen key to position B. Then turn anti-clockwise until you're in position A. Check the extrusion is working correctly by following the change filament process and selecting no when asked if a filament is currently loaded. If you see it extruded in a straight line, then your blockage has been cleared and you can continue printing. If it is crinkled, then repeat the process. If you are still having problems after this, please contact the Steady team on steady.com.